In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate fit tolerances without a table. So this can come up if your tolerances you need, the allowance and the clearance isn't in machinery's handbook, or it could come up if you have some special size you're dealing with. So it's no big deal. You don't have to have the tables to calculate fits. What you do need is your basic size, so the size of the shaft or the hole you're dealing with, and your chosen allowance and clearance. So as a refresher, the allowance is the difference between the MMC of the hole and the MMC of the shaft. So you're comparing the largest the shaft can be to the smallest the hole can be. If there's room there, you have positive clearance. If there's no room, you have negative clearance or interference. And then the clearance is the difference between the LMC of the hole and the LMC of the shaft. So least material condition, if I didn't mention it before. So you're comparing the smallest the shaft can be to the largest the hole can be. This gives you the, the play or the wiggle between the two parts. Now, depending on your design requirements, you might have to limit that, in which case your tolerances will be way tighter, or you can leave it more open. So this technique I'm going to use is sometimes called the split tolerance technique. We're going to split the allowance and the clearance evenly between the two parts. But that doesn't mean you can't go back in later and adjust it if you need to, to make something a certain size for st standard tooling, for, you know, for example. So let's dive in. I've chosen one and a quarter inch for my basic size, and I've chosen two thousandths for my allowance and eight thousandths for my clearance. So I'll write that on the board real quick so we have a, a common place to start from. So basic size of one and a quarter, allowance of two thousandths, clearance of eight thousandths. You gotta have these numbers to get started, okay? So the next thing we'll do, we're gonna solve for the allowance uh, and we're going to get the MMC of the hole and the MMC of the shaft. So let me go ahead and set this up. So I got this set up and solved. We've got the MMC of the hole. We'll solve first the smallest hole it can be. Now we're going to add half of our allowance. So remember it's called split tolerance. So we split this in half, we add it to here, we subtract it from the shaft. Now to check yourself, because it's easy to get the signs switched up, you just directly compare these with the allowance equation. So the allowance is the MMC of the hole minus the MMC of the shaft. Subtract these two numbers, you get this number, right? Easy peasy. So next, we'll do the exact same thing for the LMC of these two limits. So that we'll get the LMC of the hole and the LMC of the shaft. And to make it easy, I'm going to set it up the same way. So let me get it on the board. So it's the same way. We got LMC hole is the basic size plus half of the clearance gives us 1.254 LMC of the shaft is going to be the basic size minus half of the clearance, which is 1.246. So if we subtract LMC hole minus LMC shaft, we'll get that clearance value, eight thousandths. Okay? So when we dimension the part, it'll look like this. Okay? So we'll end up with a shaft of a maximum size of 1.249, minimum size of 1.246, a hole 1.254 to 1.251. Now, we could change these numbers up if you needed to, if you needed to apportion a little bit more tolerance to one or the other. So in the case of the clearance, you could make this two and this six and end up with the same thing. So you might have to adjust these a little bit for standardized tooling, but that's basically how you can calculate fits without the table. Now it's preferred to use the table if you got it, but if you have special numbers you got to deal with, this is definitely a technique. So that's it for this video. Just a quick demonstration of calculating fits without the table. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I'll make more of these videos coming soon.